Hi kiddos, it's me Mom Shalen, your pre-calculus teacher for this semester and this is the third video installment for our lesson on parabola. This is now the discussion of the parts and cases that we would be having. Okay, so parabola. It came from two Greek words para, which means alongside, and bole, which means a throwing. But when you try to get down from a jeepney, anong sasabihin mo? Para po! Kasi ibig sabihin, itatabi siya. Because para means alongside. And you throw a ball, the term ball, which is being thrown, actually came from the Greek word bole, which means a throwing. Okay, so from the first two activities that we've had, we were able to come up with the definition of a parabola, that it is a locus or set of all points x, y in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point f called the focus and a fixed line called directrix. From the construction of the parabola, we were able to create the curve using the fixed point f and then the bold line that we've created in the beginning. That's for our first mathematical investigation. And then on the second part, we started measuring up. And from the measurements, we realized that, oh, they have the same measurements. Uh, when we measure from F to the certain point, and then from the point perpendicular to that line, they have the same measure. That's why a parabola is defined as um, a locus or set of points that are equidistant. Okay, so that means they have the same measurement. Please keep that in mind. Now, these are the parts of a parabola. We started with the fixed point called the focus. And then we have a fixed line. This fixed line is called directrix. Then from this, from these two, we were able to construct the parabola. The lowest point in our parabola, this one, is called the vertex. This is also the midpoint between the focus and the directrix. So that means this divides the measurement between the focus and the directrix. When a parabola is divided into two equal portions, this is now what we call the axis of symmetry. And then, for this measurement along the focus, this is called latus rectum. Again, let's talk about those points. The lowest point or the midpoint uh, between the focus and the directrix is called the vertex. If we draw a line that divides the parabola into two portions, it's called the axis of symmetry. This axis of symmetry goes through both your focus and your vertex. And then, if you would measure along the focus, measure how wide your parabola is along the focus, this is now called latus rectum or focal diameter. Let's review. We begin with a fixed point called focus. Then we have a fixed line. And what do we call this fixed line? Directrix. Very good. We are able to construct the parabola using those two materials or two figures. And then what do we call this lowest point or the midpoint between focus and directrix? The vertex. Correct. After that, we divide the parabola into two symmetrical portions. What do we call this one now? The axis of symmetry. Next, measuring along the focus, what do we call this portion? This is now called the latus rectum or focal diameter. So these are the parts of a parabola. Now a parabola has four cases. We have the first two. A parabola that opens up, a parabola that opens down, and these are the characteristics. So let's begin with the opening upward and downward. You would notice that both have the equation or uses the equation x squared 
equals 4PY. However, when it opens upward, the other side or the equated part is positive. When it opens downward, the equation part is negative. That is because we are considering where the points in the parabola would belong to. So a parabola opening upward has a positive equation because all the numbers there would now be positive. A parabola opening downward with vertex at 0, 0 now uh, is actually facing the negative portion of our y-axis. That's why our equation is also negative. Now you might be wondering why is it x squared? Because if you would notice, we have two points that would correspond to an x variable. Thus, we have x squared. So we also have our focus, the coordinates for the po for for the focus. So we have here for our parabola opening upward, it's zero p. And then for the parabola opening downward, since it's found on the negative of the y-axis, we have 0, negative p. Here we go. Next, for the directrix, it's just opposite of the variable here. So if we have an x squared as our equation, the directrix would automatically be y. Because your directrix would be passing along the y-axis. Kaya your equation is also y. Okay? Uh, for the parabola opening upward, you would notice that the directrix is negative because it reflects the focus. Remember, this is your focus and then it is reflected down here. Now, if your focus is positive, automatically your directrix is negative if the vertex is at 0, 0. Contrary to that, if the focus is uh, here at the negative side of our y-axis, since it's opening downward, then your directrix now will be found above. That's why you have a positive uh, directrix here. Now let's look at the parabola that opens to the left and to the right. To the left, to the right, yeah. Okay, so uh, the parabola that opens to the left and to the right now have y squared as its equation contrary to the previous two cases which opens up and down we have x squared this time we have y squared okay so because we have one and two y coordinates so that would be derived from your points here okay so when it opens to the left that means it opens to the negative side of your x-axis, thus your equation is also negative. When it opens to the right, that means it opens to the positive of the x-axis, thus your equation here is positive as well. For the focus, a parabola opening to the left has a negative focus because it's found on the negative side of your x-axis, while opposite to that is this, uh, found on the positive side of the x-axis, thus your focus is positive. For the directrix, you just get the opposite sign of your focus. Now, for the endpoints of the latus rectum, same with the first two cases of opening up and down, we just follow these set of formulas. So, for the left, uh, parabola opening to the left, we have negative p plus or minus 2p. Why? Because we have reflection here and here. We just substitute the value of p that we get from the standard form of equation. And then the length of our latus rectum is always 4p. Now looking at the summary of that, I will be giving you uh, 10 seconds to take a screenshot of this because you would be needing this uh, for uh, or as your reference 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Alright, so that's it for our video uh, We have the next video about the discussion on identifying parts given the graph of the parabola See you on the next video